What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. So if you want to grow bigger biceps, I've got something that you can do every single day to make it happen. Now look, if the list of things that you're doing every single day, because you've been watching my videos, is growing exponentially long, well, maybe you're going to have to make a cut or two. But if you're looking for big biceps, this is one you're going to want to keep. Because this tip is something you can start doing, like literally right now. Now I'm going to tell you a little story first. This dumbbell that I hold in my hand is the basis for why this tip works. Believe it or not, this is the first and only dumbbell I had access to as a kid. This is a five pound Marcy dumbbell. It was actually the only dumbbell my brother allowed me to use when I used to tag along in his workouts. He was four years older than me and he would say, here, take this and don't hurt yourself. Well, I didn't have a lot of options in terms of the exercises that I could do with this, but I certainly did a lot of curls. Now I'm not going to say that doing a lot of five pound curls at the age of 11 was what allowed me to build bigger biceps. That's not the case. What was true though was I was able to build and develop a mind-muscle connection because in order to make this five pound dumbbell feel like it was actually doing anything, I had to learn how to actually contract it through space. See, not just move it from point A to B, but contract it. See, I pretended that on every single rep that I did, somebody was asking me to make a muscle. And to do that, I had to really squeeze as hard as I possibly could. When you translate that into every rep that you do, you get better. Just like anything else, with practice comes the ability to do something better. And what happened was I carried that over into the two exercises that I really did the most of growing up. Barbell curls with a heavy, heavy focus on the eccentric portion and the chin up. And I made videos talking about my success with these two exercises. The minimalist approach worked for me, but it only worked for me because I had the ability to recruit my biceps very well. And if you're missing that right now and you are doing your curls or you are doing your chin ups and you're copying what I was doing and it's still not working, this is the reason why. So the good news is you can fix that and you don't even need this. You can actually drop this entirely. What you need to start doing is learning how to contract your arm through space, making a muscle while you do it. Your ability to either make a muscle uncomfortable when you contract it or not. It's actually really important. When you flex your arm like this, do you feel any discomfort at all? Because I do. I feel as if it's balled up and actually very uncomfortable. And when I start to increase that by supinating the forearm as well, I actually increase that discomfort. And that's a good thing. It's a good sign. And when I can raise my arm up into flexion a little bit more, knowing that the long head allows me to do that, and I get more of a contraction and more discomfort, then I'm really onto something. And this has actually been backed up recently by my friend, Dr. Andrew Huberman from Stanford, who shared with me some research that's being done that shows that your ability to create discomfort in a muscle while you contract it is an indicator of your ability to grow that muscle. That's really exciting stuff, but again, we've been doing it for a long time. So how do you increase your ability to do this? With practice and daily. And you don't have to do this really, guys, in a public setting. As a matter of fact, spare me from doing it in a public setting because it's going to make you look a little bit weird. But what I want you to do is just learn how to actually contract your arm in space. So a few times a day, four reps is all you're going to need to do for about 10 seconds a piece. And what I want you to do is just learn how to move your arm through space as if someone asked you to make a muscle. So bend your elbow and squeeze and turn and really try to create discomfort here. And if you can't, don't worry about it. Just try again. And if you can't then, just try again. And as you accumulate reps and reps and reps over time, again, four is enough for the day, guys. But when you do this over time from day after day, you're going to improve that mind-muscle connection that is very important to taking it back to the exercises that you're doing. And as I said here, guys, it's something that you could do with no weight at all. But when you do get back to your weights and you do have a better mind-muscle connection, every single exercise you do, every curl variation, even the ones that weren't working for you before, those big barbell curls and those chin-ups as well, they'll start working too. And I promise you guys, once you have that in place, you'll never look back. Make sure you let me know how it feels. Do you feel it at all when you contract your muscle now? If not, it's okay. Tell me about it because there was a point in time where I didn't either, but you can get over that if you do the right things. If you're looking for a program, guys, you can find it over at athletenext.com. And if you haven't done so, click subscribe and turn your notifications so you never miss a new video when I put one out. All right, guys, see you soon.